Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have the Gen Max Tri Fuel, the GM 10.5 IETC. I'm gonna be running this thing on natural gas. As you can see, it's already connected to my natural gas line with this quick connect. So no more fumbling around with tools, anything. You just get the quick connect from your house. You just get the quick connect from your home and come right here, plug it into the generator, and then we'll go down to the other side where I have almost 50 feet of line to my natural gas connection. So it's connected right there. We're just gonna turn this thing on. Come right back to this. So you can see I have the 50 amp inlet box connected right here. And that's only 25 feet going to my inlet box. 50 amp inlet box. Like I told you guys, if you're gonna install an inlet box, just might as well go with the 50 amp. Uh, you never know if you wanna upgrade down the line. You only wanna do this once. Come over here, I have my lockout. So before I turn on my generator, we'll lose power, I'll shut off my main. Then I can turn on my generator inlet box so I can get power from this, from the generator. Okay, so everything's hooked up. To the 105 we're gonna be running on natural gas which gives us this your, your rating right here so I'll be getting 8,400 starting 6,800 running on propane 9,500 starting 8,000 running and on gas pump gas 10,500 starting 8,500 running just because you have tri fuel you can run this on just gas you can run it just propane you can run it on just on natural gas. Doesn't matter, your preference. If you just wanna have 10,500 to your disposal, especially for all you guys who's ordered this from my website, gavinsgarage.com, go to my website, it's on sale. You can find it there. Let's get this thing started. I'm gonna run the AC, my refrigerator, and probably some ceiling fans. We only have 6,000 something to play with. Natural gas does not have a lot of, pack a lot of power. So we have to be mindful of what we run. If I want more power, I can just dump some gas or propane and that thing will get the full power from this generator. All right, so natural gas connected, natural gas is on. You come over here, turn on your natural gas. That's it right here. Turn your switch on. You hear that click, 240 and hit that power button. <laughs> Those of you uh, guys, if you can't hear me, I'll back away from the generator. I think it's very quiet. Um, let me get my DB just to give you an idle DB test. Right on it, 70. Let's get back. It's already 68. Real quiet. Let me go inside and turn on the AC. But before I do that, I want to show you guys, a lot of people ask me, Gavin, how do you run your generator outside? I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. It's real crude. It's just something I built. I've been using it for years. I've been through a couple of storms, one hurricane with it, and it's the same one I've been using. Let me just show you real quick. Okay, guys, this is it right here. I'm just showing you the bottom. It's just like a tabletop. Four legs, four by four. Two by four supports. This is what the bottom looks like. And that's it. Then I just come in the back, I grab it. That's all the protection I need right here. Protection from hail, rain, any kind of debris. to 
uh, put gas or anything. I just push it up. I just tilt it up. I have access right here, and then I'll just bring it back down. There you go. I have some uh, weights I put on top when it's high wind. It's never blown off. My generator don't get uh, overly wet. You know, they keep the most rain from it. So let me go turn the AC on and see what we get, okay? Okay guys, before I turn the AC on, I want to talk about something. So, if you have to compare this, which is a pure sine wave connected to natural gas, 10.5, okay, to a whole home backup generator, this is like a tenth of the price because those things cost like 15,000, 12 to 15,000. This is 28.99 and I'll tell you what, I'd rather have this and when I move, I just pick this up and take it to my new home. I just wanted to point that out. Let's get this test started. All right guys, so I got my main off. Now I come to my lockout, I'll pick this up and I'll turn on my inlet box. So I know most of y'all say you have to turn everything off. So what I did, I went through the house, I turned most of the main stuff off. My fridge, uh, you can come here and turn all this off and turn everything back on. You can do it that way, but I know everything is off inside my house. So I'm just gonna turn it on. The only thing that's gonna come on, I think are like two ceiling fans. Another thing I do before I turn on my generator is I turn off my grid tie to my solar panel. So the solar panel's off. So my main is off, my solar panel is off. Everything is disconnected from the grid. So we come here and turn on this now because this is off, you can turn this on. So you lock out. Now that the power's on, I can come over here and I can introduce power to the home. So I have two ceiling fans on. Let's go inside and turn on the AC. So I have uh, this ceiling fan running. It's a real big ceiling fan. I have this ceiling fan running also. on the AC running on the 10.5 with a soft start you've got to have a soft start I have the soft start my micro air with the Bluetooth and 
And if I don't have the soft start, as you can see, my, where is it? RLA 152. LRA, right there. 152. Hope you guys can see that. So without this soft start, there's no way it can happen. Okay, I'm just waiting for the condenser and the fan to shut off before I shut off. The beautiful thing is, it's running off natural gas. I don't have to worry about checking gas. The only thing I have to do is check my oil about every 24 hours. guys there you have it the new 10.5 running on natural gas unlimited fuel source right here so you don't have to worry about gas or propane or anything you just plug it into your natural gas at your home and you can just run your generator and have a peace of mind of not running out of power okay so there you have it guys 10.5 Okay guys, if there's anything else you want to see me do on this generator, please let me know in the comment section. Leave a comment, give me a thumbs up. Guys, thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.